I guess the game knows no limits to this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's the limit. There's the limit. What the heck's happening? Hold on. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I feel like it's getting ready to explode. It just killed me. Hello, YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of My Summer Car, and today I've got some more plans with the car itself. You guys have been absolutely fantastic about suggesting things that I do with the car, and what we're going to do here today, we're going to stick rally tires on the front, and we're going to have slicks on the back, and we're going to turn this thing into a rear-wheel drive and boost the power probably about as much as it will go. In theory, this is going to be some sort of amazing drift car. Now, that's probably not going to work, but uh, we're going to try it anyway. So I've got that. I've got the other vehicles already at the airstrip because that's where we're going to do our testing. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the tires. Uh, i got to make sure I grab all my supplies. I need the toolbox. Uh, let's see. I've already painted it, by the way. I'm painting it like lime green because, you know, sick drift car and bright colors. But yeah, that I don't know if I really like that, but... Anyways, we're going to grab the rest of that, grab some beer, grab some food, and we should be good to go. So yeah, let me go ahead and get this done, and we'll uh, head out to the airstrip. Alright, let's toss that bad boy in there. I think the fuel tank is poking through the ground. Now, if you saw my last episode, you saw that we completely totaled out the vehicle. I am not using that same save. Uh, that vehicle was gone. Uh, pretty much the fuel tank disappeared. Somebody asked if it was actually under the car, and I was like, no. I searched around a bit more to see if I could find it. And it just, I think it actually shot under the map, or probably, I think when that happens, uh, the pieces will appear somewhere in the junkyard, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, boy, I hope I have some beer in here. Yep, this is gonna take some liquid courage, so we're gonna grab this, uh, do I have some, I got sausage, that's enough. Uh, let's see, just gonna toss this into the car. So, yeah, I'm gonna finish packing up here, we should be good to go. Now, by the way, I'm using a mod, I will link it in the description for the tuner, I showed it off a bit. Uh, some people were asking me to maybe make a tutorial on it. I'm not going to do that because I don't like making mod tutorials. It feels kind of weird because you are basically responsible for breaking other people's computers when they screw it up. So I'm not going to be doing that, but it is a very simple process. Uh, just follow the link and then just kind of read through the directions and it's fairly straightforward to install it. All right, you piece of crap. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to hit F4 here. This loads up the mod menu. I've already showed this off. I need to switch to a rear wheel drive, so let's go, there we go, there. Uh, we're going to keep the power levels the same until we get out to the airstrip, because I don't want to actually destroy this thing. Uh, oh, 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 I can already feel it. The, the rear tires are spinning quite a bit. I guess it's because the fronts are gripping with the rally tires and the, uh, this is going to be messy. So yeah, it, it's the fronts are gripping. I can feel that and I can feel the rear slipping. I guess that's also to do a little bit with the change with the rear wheel drive. So yeah, this might actually work now. I would prefer to do this with my G27, but my G27 is really loud. It's hard to muffle it during recording. So I'm gonna have to just try to do this with my uh, uh, keyboard here. So I need to do that. I need to also map the handbrake. I gotta make sure that works. Now, I don't know if this handbrake is one where we can just tap it and try to slide out or if it fully engages when you hit it. So I'm going to have to be careful about how I do that too. So, power multiplier. So, if you didn't watch my last episode, we can actually turn the engine speed up. And we're going to do that by going... Oh, not automatic. Power, period, and comma. So, then let's set it to about... This is two times the power that the engine normally has. Oh, you can hear that. Okay, here we go. Alright. Yeah, we're just peeling out. <laughs> Come on, you're going to have to grip here. There's our e-brake. Oh, this is totally going to work. There's the van. Uh, the muscle car is here somewhere. Here we go. And rip. <laughs> okay, that worked a little better than I thought it would. Yeah, I need it to where this handbrake doesn't fully engage. I don't know if there's a way just to tap it. That worked somewhat, so that's encouraging. Uh, let me gather all the vehicles. I'm probably... Oh, I killed the car. I'm going to go save real quick, just in case we die. I really don't want to have to drive back from the house again. Hear the wheel spin on that. We're spinning our tires in second gear, so this is going to work great. All right, are you guys ready for the world's crappiest Gymkhana that you've ever seen? I, I think this is actually going to work. 
So we've got this here. I also have the uh, muscle car here and the van here at the drag strip. Uh, those have tuners too, but you can't actually tune the power. The only thing you can do on those is the actual suspension. But, uh, oh boy. Okay, so Z is our handbrake. I noticed something about the handbrake. When you press Z, you don't actually see it activate down here, so that was kind of throwing me off. Uh, you can actually manually pull it, which, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but Z does seem to work pretty good. So let's go ahead and buckle in here. Driving mode. Buckle up our harness. We're going to need a beer for this one. Oh, boy. Okay, let's check and make sure. Okay, we need to go into... We're in front-wheel drive right now. Let's go ahead and activate into rear wheel and then we got to reset our power levels because I saved let's start out at two we'll go two times the normal power and then if we need to go up we can always do that so here we go that is gonna be uh, 2.04 that's good all right oh I'm ready for this you know I really wish we had like a drift course on the game let's turn that off turn those back on oh yeah tires are still spinning all right, here we go. I might need to switch this from Z. This is awkward on the keyboard trying to press this. Oh, oh. There we go. Fourth gear. This is probably drifting way too fast. Let's pull handbrake. Here we go. Oh, oh, I'm really bad at drifting. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. All right, got to get a feel for this. I really need to uh, readjust this. Uh, the handbrake does not need to be on Z. Actually, oh, did we break it? Oh, no, the handbrake's still working. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and change that to something I can reach a little bit better. So let's go handbrake. Let's shift it to K. There we go. That way I can not have to have my fingers under each other trying to control this. So, oh, oh. I really wish I could do this with a uh, G27. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if anybody knows any good ways, uh, if anybody records with the G27, I would love to know how you guys muffle that thing. It's just way too loud. All right, here we go. Let's go a little slower. Let's drift around the booth here. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's not how you drift. Oh, man. I told you this is going to be crappy, Jim Connor. All right, car still cranks. We got that going for us. All right. Uh, uh, what, wait, what? Where'd the hood go? The hood was stuck in the... Hold on. Hold on. Where's our hood at? Wait, what? Okay. I'm going to completely ignore that that even happened. Let's just go and hop back in. Buckle up this harness. All right. Oh, boy. All right, let's go forward. I even think about going in reverse with the uh, upped power here. You know, normally when people drift, they don't drift actually that fast. Uh, let's see. Let's try ripping it here. Oh, oh, I'm terrible at this. All right, let's go ahead, up this, let's go to third gear. We'll try ripping it in third here. All right. There we go. <laughs> what does this look like from the cinematic camera? Oh, oh, that's really odd. Not seeing a character there. See, I, I like to use a cinematic camera. People always say like, you need to use it more, but it does that. Like I would like for it to actually keep the angles a little bit closer. They're like, man, look at this sick excuse for <laughs> drifting. I didn't say it was gonna be good. I'm slowly getting more comfortable with the handbrake here. We're gonna try it. Right around. We're not going to go around the poster. Let's go around the muscle car. Here we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, it's still weird. The uh, I almost feel like the rally tires are gripping a little too much. Let's go ahead and get back into first gear here. Yeah, it's really odd because you'll start that slide out and then the front tires will grab and then they'll shoot you into one direction. Oh, that is ridiculous. We're white smoking it in third gear. All right. Let's pick up some speed here. Go into fourth gear. We're probably going to be drifting way too fast again, but I'm going to hold on to the handbrake just a bit more. Normally, you see him just kind of tap it, but let's get on to it here. See, yeah, there it goes. It, the front end catches. Yeah, either that or I just really suck at drifting. That's one or the other. I'm going to go with probably I suck at drifting. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, it's shifting a little odd there. All right, here we go. We've got a little bit of speed picked up here. Let's go forward. Roll back. Oh, that's the, that's the headlights. Uh, I think I'm really just sliding around in the grass. I don't think I'm actually accomplishing any sort of drift. Up, 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 up. Yeah, I definitely won't be titling this video Best Drift Video Ever in My Summer Car. <laughs> it's going to be the crappiest drift video. All right, let's pick up some speed here. See if we can try to do this again. 
If not, we're just going to lift the suspension up and go jump this thing. All right, this might be too fast. Uh, yeah, this is going to be something. All right, there we go. Red line in it and shoot in for the drift. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this is really just sliding. They don't have... I guess you could say this is a big enough pavement area to drift in, but this is just odd. All right, let's go ahead and get back into a... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I don't wonder if we should have even more power to those rear wheels. Maybe that will help us slide out. It seems like the front wheels are trying to catch. Every time I go sideways and you start counter steering, it'll eventually just say, oh, we're going this way, and they'll shoot off. Uh, let's go ahead and try to... Let's multiply this even more. Uh, would be going three times? Would that be even safe? I don't know if this is safe for the car. Let's see what's this like gear-wise. That's white smoking, still white smoking, still white smoking. Tires spinning. There's fourth gear. We're still white smoking the tires. This is the world's longest burnout. Let's see, this might work. Let's go ahead and initiate the handbrake. Oh, that definitely helps spin. It still feels like these fronts are catching quite a bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and spin that there. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, I'm really glad somebody suggested to do this. This is actually kind of fun. All right, here we go. Picking up that speed. Trying to get those rear tires to hook up. There we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to go into this mode. Oh, this is too fast for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's just ripped e-brake. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, 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 oh. That was a couple trees. <laughs> That's why I don't use the cinematic camera too much, folks. Uh, oh. Oh, how can... Why can I see in the car? Well, I can see outside now in the car. We're fine. Let's go ahead and grab another beer. Let's keep at it here. Uh, oh, yeah, we did make a big dent in the car. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. It's going back out here. It really does feel like we're moving in fast motion. Oh, oh, come on. It takes so long. Oh, I think we broke something. Yeah, something that we've got a really delayed steering. Uh-oh. That's why I saved this. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and try to pick up some speed here. And we're going to see what's happened here. Still spinning its tires, still white smoking. All right, here we go. Yeah, I would say uh, she's drifting a little bit. Uh, let's see. Around the booth. Oh, not in the booth. Uh oh. Was there somebody still in there? Nah, he's fine. Huh, that held up way better than it probably should have. Oh yeah, we yeah we. Yeah, it's 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 gone. Wow. Huh. Let's load that back up and try that again. Well, at least the guy didn't get hurt. All right, I've got an even better plan. Uh, what better drift machine than actually having it completely jacked up? So, let's see. There is one for all wheels. Let's go ahead and go keypad 9 and 7. There we go. See, now we really have a lifted... Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What's happening? What's happening here? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's, let's, go let's go down just a bit. There we go. That's perfectly fine. That's that's acceptable. Oh wait, that's still showing. That is a front wheel drive right there. Okay, did I change that? Uh, it's saying rear wheel. Is that a part of our problem? What's going on here? Let's go ahead and hit the minus key. That's all wheel. That's yeah. You know, I don't know if the animation just doesn't do it. Uh, it definitely feels like it's rear wheel, but it just doesn't look like it actually is. That's weird. All right. We are back into here. Oh, we're going to flip so bad when we rip this e-brake. All right. Let's get going. Come on, tires. Hook up. Hook up. <laughs> let's let off a little bit. Try to get them to grip. Come on. They're eventually going to stop spinning here. Oh, oh. <laughs> that worked. Oh. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Oh, we got to climb out the front here. Huh. Well, that didn't work as intended, did it? Uh, let's see if we can write this thing. Come on. I say this test has been completely successful today. I'm pretty sure you guys are going to agree with me. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, I need you to reset. Here, reset your wheels. Come on, come on, tip over, tip over. Uh oh, I, I think we, I think we might have broken something. Hold on, let's uh, let's reset here. There we go. All right, we're ready to try this again. All right, this time we'll be in a kind of a, like a straight shot here, so I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and hop back in, buckle that up. Our door is in terrible shape. Okay, let's kind of angle ourselves. Here we go. All right, this is for real this time. Let me go ahead and scoot over a bit in the seat. There we go, buckle up. Oh yeah, oh, well, it died again. Hey, right, here we go. All right, let's lift this bad boy. All right, here we go. Remember, don't hit the brakes or you'll somersault over the front, so. And, oh, wait, what? Oh, our power levels are reset, aren't they? Oh, oh boy. Glad I didn't start that. Rear wheel drive. Let's go back up to... Let's just go ahead and keep it right around a little over two. We were trying three. I'm not sure that's good for the car. Well, I mean, nothing's really good for the car, but I don't think that one was going to actually work. All right. Fourth gear came a little quicker than I wanted it to. Come on. There we go. Oh, this is going to work. This is going to work really good, guys. Totally gonna work. All right, you ready? And e-brake's gonna get ripped here, and... <laughs> what? Well, that worked about as good as I thought it was going to. Alrighty. Well. Oh, see, look, we can reset that. We're good to go. Car still crank? Uh, uh-oh. Oh, it does! We didn't lose the tank or anything. Oh, I think we lost... Oh, we lost our beer. All right, we're ready to go for our next test. Now, we're going to do a jump test like the last episode, except for this time we're going to do it in the cinematic camera. A lot of people said they would have liked to have seen that in that camera, and I didn't know we were actually going to jump that high, so uh, we're ready to go here. Second gear. Hopefully I can gain some sort of traction here in the grass. It's going to be a little hard to do. Here we go. Fourth gear. Still spinning them. Come on, hook up. Hook up, tires. Ah, right, they're going to get some grip here. Alright, here we go. Cinematic camera. And we're... <laughs> we just bounced off the pile. That didn't work at all like I wanted it to. Alright, we're going to get another run at this. I'm going to take the other road uh, this time. Hopefully we can get the tires to grip here. There was too much grass on the other approach. Oh yeah, this is definitely going to be much better. Alright, get ready with the F9 key. Oh, this is going to be great. Actually, I don't know which one I'm hitting here. Which one am I going to hit? Oh, we're going to hit this one. Here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Well, that one pretty much shot us straight up in the air. Uh, question is, what part of the car actually still works? Something just landed way over there. That was amazing. Yeah, we definitely broke the car that time. Wow. That was impressive. Yeah, parts went everywhere. So I was actually able to see some of them. Uh, the brake fluid is the only thing that's visible. I believe a fender flew over there by the little lake. Yeah, that was a, that was great. It was actually good to see in the other views just to see exactly what that looks like and uh, that definitely didn't disappoint. All right, on to the next thing. All right, so the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the tuner for the muscle car and the van. So I have them both installed and they're assigned to the same keys, so it's actually affecting them both. So you can see I hit the one number key, uh, they go down, the uh, seven makes it go up. That looks so stupid. Uh, let's see, which other ones? Oh, there's the eight key. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's probably, I mean, this thing's already undrivable. That probably made that way worse. Now, what does uh, kind of stink about the tuner? I guess it's just the uh, limitations of the game. You can't actually, like, up the speed on the motor, which would be fantastic for the muscle car and the van. I'm still waiting to see uh, when they come out with the one for the poo truck. Would be really cool if you can get that one going a lot faster. But, uh, yeah, let's... Can we even climb up into these? Does the game recognize what's going on here? Hold on, let's see. The van's still running here. Up, 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 nope. There we go. Come on, I want to get in. I want to get in. All right, so I guess to get in. Oh, wrong way. Hold on. Up, 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 up. Here we go. So let's jump in here. 
This one doesn't seem to freak out like the other one. Uh, the other one, when you move the suspension about like this, it just tips itself over. Uh, come on, Van. Let me in. Here we go. Oh, oh. All right, enter driver mode here, driving mode, and we're gonna need to tilt the fronts up here. That is ridiculous. Does the game, I guess the game knows no limits to this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, there's the limit, there's the limit. What the heck's happening, hold on. <laughs> I feel like, oh, I feel like it's getting ready to explode. It just killed me. <laughs> Oh, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Like, oh, yep, we broke it. We don't even get a newspaper article saying, like, how he died. The, the game doesn't even know. It's like, Van exploded? Uh, I don't know. All right, well, the death music's happening. Uh, well, I guess that's our cue to leave here. Anyways, folks, uh, if you have any more tests you want me to experiment with on the uh, game here, I would love to hear uh, what you guys want to see. I've got a couple more things planned. Uh, we're going to tow some vehicles here very soon and kind of use them as a little bit of a slingshot or a, a wrecking ball, basically. But anyways, folks, don't forget to like and subscribe. Everything helps my channel, and we will see you guys next time on My Summer Car. Thank you!